In this video, we'll be working with point clouds inside Revit architecture. Now what we're looking at here are several laser scans that we have registered or aligned together. And this gives us a single point cloud that we can see here. Now our client on this particular project is interested in having an elevator installed here on the side of the building. So we'll be taking this point cloud and bringing it into Revit so that we can draw some walls and create some dimensions in the area that the elevator needs to be installed. Now one of the things with working with point clouds is you're always going to have more data there than what you actually need. Um, in this particular case, we're just interested in the walls right now. Unfortunately, though, I'm seeing plants, I'm seeing the ceiling and different elements and stuff that are inside the building, chairs, bookcases. Now I could switch over to a floor plan view and adjust my view range and that will clip some of that away, but quite often that's still not good enough. We still have stuff in the point cloud here that are interfering with what we're trying to work with, what we're trying to see. So how cool would it be if we could get rid of all that stuff and just be able to bring the walls into Revit architecture? So what I'm going to do is switch over to Cohera 3D. This is point cloud software that will allow us to do exactly that, where we can export just the walls, bring those into Revit, and begin our modeling. Okay, so here we are using Cohera 3D. And as you can see, everything has been isolated into different layers or different groups, the walls, the ceilings. So what I'm going to do is hide everything but the exterior walls. And actually, let's get the interior walls here as well. All right, so now we're just looking at the interior and exterior walls. I'm going to pause for a minute and export these into Revit, and we'll take a look at the difference between the original point cloud and the one we have now. So once again, here's the original point cloud. And let's take a look at the new one that just has the walls. And we'll draw a few walls. And here is our finished model of the building prior to installation of the elevator. And then once again, this time with the elevator. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you're interested in Cohera 3D software, you can pick that up at Cohera3D.com and also at seed.com. Those are two websites where you can get more information on it.